Some of the very best AI tools are adding AI agents on top of their AI tool. So instead of just using the AI tool, you just talk to the agent inside of chat and the agent does all the work for you. Let me show you the top seven that recently got AI agents. Okay, the very first one is inside of Gamma. So if you haven't used Gamma before, Gamma turns a text prompt or existing text into these type of presentations. And this is all AI. The images are AI. AI wrote all the text, created all the slides, right? So that's great. I've been using Gamma for two years, pretty much every single week for every single presentation. Now, you'll see this option on top called Agents. Let me click on this. With Agent Mode, you basically type in what you want changed or ask for suggestions and the agent will help you do that. I'll choose one of the options that they have over here. Recommend a theme based on my content. In two seconds, it applied a new theme over here and it selected other themes. So here's the original. I could just revert back to it quickly. This is the new one that it just added on its own. You could see how quickly I could change those. And then here's the founder theme is giving me other recommendations. So I could go through and see which one I like best. I actually like this one the best here. So I just had a presentation where I couldn't use any images. So typically I would just click on the image and remove it slide by slide. But what I was able to do is instead of doing that, I came down here and I said, remove all images. And just like that, the slideshow has no images from a single text prompt to the agent instead of doing it one slide at a time, right? So it cut my time significantly just by using the AI agent. Now I'm gonna reverse this one. I wanna show you one more inside of this. Any element that you select, like this image right here, you could do the traditional things like ask AI to change that specific thing, but you could see when I select something, it shows up here inside of the AI agent and it actually gives me suggestions on what I should do instead of coming up with the prompt myself. So right here, if I wanna make this brighter, it decided, hey, this might be too dark for what you want. You wanna see a brighter version, I click on that, it edits the image. Now these are AI generated right inside of Gamma. I didn't use any other app for this presentation. So it's going to use one of these best AI models here to generate a new image for me. Okay, here's the modified version. It also shows me the original so I could quickly compare the two and if I change my mind, I could always revert back very, very quickly. Now, here's another really useful one with the agent, quick edits. You could research, search the web and add citation to your slideshow directly from here, okay? You could refine existing things. Again, it's giving you some options like fixing all typos. This already was created with AI, but if you created it manually, this is a one click fix and restyling, which I showed you. So if I wanted to add more evidence, I could select this option right here, for example, if it made sense with my slideshow. And here, it gave me three different options. So I'm just gonna choose option one, which is actually very useful. It just didn't do something without checking with me first. And it's gonna go ahead and search the web here, right inside of Gamma. I don't have to use any third-party tool for that. And after it search, it created new cards for me. It edited existing cards and it's showing me, again, the variation between what I had before. So here's what I had before. And here is the one that it created for me with some data to support what this slide was all about. So that is fantastic. And then again, you could decide to keep the original or the modified version just very quickly switching between the two. So if you're still doing presentation the old school way, definitely worth a look. Now, the very next agent is gonna be an image generation agent. And this one works in the background in a very unique way. So the website is imagegen.ai. And obviously I'll link everything in the description of this video. So with ImageGen, it is going to use the Gemini model. So one of the best image models right now inside of Google Gemini, but it's inside of this website. Or Recraft, which I've covered in different videos. That's a great AI image generation model too. And then you could choose your style. Now, this is by Agent.ai. So the creator of HubSpot created a website called Agent.ai, which I'll show you here too. So when I make agent videos, I often talk about agent AI. With agent AI, it's basically a marketplace of AI agents. So they have a ton of different ones that I've tested out here, worth a look for sure. But imagegen.ai is actually its own separate website, but you could still see it's by agent.ai. So this is what's unique about it. It basically in the background fixes the typos for you as one of the examples that he gave. So let's say I'm gonna create an AI certification. 
Create an AI certification for Skill Leap AI for AI in marketing. I'm going to create this in square format, but they actually have all these presets for different platforms. Now you could always add images if you want to edit existing images too. That's where Gemini really comes in handy, but I'm going to go ahead and generate one from scratch. Okay, so it created this image for me. And at first glance, it looks like the same type of thing that you could do inside of Gemini or Recraft. But what it does is it actually checks the spelling, recreates it if you had a typo. So you don't have to do that yourself. And it's pretty good for the few times I've tried it so far. This just came out. It's pretty good. And on the bottom, it has an edit box. So if you want to do any type of revisions, well, you know exactly where to put that. Press revise and it will do the update for you and give you another image. And you could quickly go ahead and download this right here as an image or as a SVG or you just copy the URL. So very, very easy to use. Tells you what image model it also used in the background. Now, the next one on my list is called Lindy, the sponsor of today's video. And I've covered them before for their AI agent, which takes care of automations, but they have something new here. So right on their website, I could click on build apps and I could actually create an app from text prompt. I was able to build a fully functioning merchandise store in under five minutes using Lindy's new build feature. And I started with a very simple prompt and I'll show you why. I said, I'm Skill Leap AI, a YouTube creator, build me a merchandise store. Because unlike some other AI apps that just go and do the work without really figuring out what you want, this will ask you a follow-up question. It's asking me what kind of merchandise I wanna sell. Obviously something it needs to know instead of just going to work, it's asking me that. It's asking me what my brand style is and it's also asking me, do I have any existing assets? So I told it I wanna sell t-shirts and hoodies and hats. They're gonna be tech focused in blue and white theme. Now it's giving me a recap of everything I told it so far. And it's asking me, should we build this? Which is nice. If anything, it doesn't sound right. I want to add more details. I could do that here. Okay. Now Lindy is going to go to work. So I'm going to let it go to work, but it does something very unique while it's working. It's actually going to do a quality check and check its own work. And it's going to give us a real e-commerce store. It's going to have product listing, shopping cart functionality, checkout integration. And in less than five minutes, I'm going to have a fully functioning merchandise store. And here it is. And I also added my own images that are created inside of Gemini of all this product. So I could select the size here. I could go ahead and add it to cart and my carts up here inside of my cart. I could go ahead and increase or decrease the number of items. And I could go ahead and proceed to checkout by connecting Stripe. So let me show you that with Lindy, you have integrations. So you could just add it to Stripe here and it will put this prompt and it will go through the process and you could connect it with your actual Stripe account. And you also have other integrations available. Again, very easy. It will put it in the text prompt for you. And then you just have a back and forth chat till you get exactly what you're looking for. Now, this is obviously a prototype, but you can see exactly how Lindy build works and it could literally build anything you want in a matter of minutes. And I think this is the future of building apps. There's no coding required. You just describe to the agent what you want in plain text and it will go ahead and build it for you. Now you could try Lindy using the link in the description and you get $20 worth of credits absolutely free. Thanks for Lindy for sponsoring this video. Now the next one is inside of 11 labs. So 11 labs, if you have used it before, you most likely use the creative side of it where it will turn a text prompt into an AI generated voice, the best voice platform out there by far, but they have a ton of different updates, but they actually have a different platform here called agent platform. You could select it right on top and it could create voice agents that will take phone calls for you, all kinds of different things. But this new thing is really interesting. There is something called agent testing, test agents and tool calls to ship your agent with confidence. So instead of just creating an agent, putting it out there in the real world, you could create a test. Now this is very early. I'm showing you this in their alpha, right? It's not even in beta. This will be based on hypothetical conversation and you could run them to make sure it's actually a quality agent and it follows what you want. So I'm going to create one for you to show you how it works. Now you could do two types of tests. Next reply test. What do you expect the agent to say next? And you could run through a long conversation just to make sure. And you also have a tool test so you could see what type of tool and how it's using different tools. And in this case, I'm going to test how my agent is going to say goodbye. So I just said, 
polite goodbye and I describe what I'm expecting the goodbye to be. And under the agent tab, this is where you actually build the agent. So I had previously built a support agent, but this testing is what I wanted to show you that is new where you could test how it will behave. So if you haven't built one before, it's pretty straightforward. You could actually describe your first message here. You could give it a system prompt on what you want it to do. You could add all kinds of variables. You could decide what large language model looks like. I haven't updated this one, so I could choose a newer one here. I'll choose this one and I'll save it. You could decide what tools you have access to. So all these things are available and it has different workflows you could build out. So this will take you some getting used to if you haven't built these agents before. But under the test tab now, I could add a test and the test has to be created in the other tab, but then I could bring it in here and I could go ahead and run this test. Now here's the test. It actually failed because it gave me a different goodbye only because I wanted to show you, I haven't updated the agent with the correct messaging that I wanted. So this just used Gemini here to give an answer. It's still a good answer, but it's not what I was testing for. I want the exact goodbye every single time in this case. And I'm gonna do that by adding this to my system prompt. I'm gonna say, always say goodbye this way. And with my system prompt updated, now I could see this is exactly how it's gonna do it. So you don't have to test in the wild with actual customers, right? You could do this with your agent and then improve the system prompt till it does exactly what you want. Run the hypotheticals on what happens when they ask for a refund, what happens if they change their time. All the different things that you would know about your business, you could go out and test that here with different tests and you could run them all at the same time too with multiple tests all at once. Okay, the next one is a video AI agent. This platform I've also made videos about, it's called Veed and it's very, very popular. It could do all kinds of different things with AI and with regular video creation. But they have a new thing called AI video agent. This will edit videos by typing instructions. Okay, this is gonna be a game changer. AI agents add subtitles, cleans the audio, resizes the video and more. And again, remember AI agents are a chatbot that will do the work for you. So you could do all these things with other AI tools, maybe one at a time, but let me show you what this does. Okay, now with my video uploading, I'm gonna go to the AI agent tab, which is the very first tab on top where I could describe what I want to happen to my video. They also let you click right here and choose from any of these options. So you could automatically add subtitles, which will do transcription, select the type of styling, all that in one go, instead of just being one individual tool. It could also do this magic cut option, which will edit the video for you, which is wild. But in my use case, I wanna actually make this available for TikTok. So I'm gonna say, make my video good for TikTok. Now, the very first thing it did is it resized the whole video. So you can see now it's for TikTok. It's also gonna select anything from my timeline down here. It's gonna generate the subtitles next, already halfway done. Now, let me press play to show you what it's done already. ChatGPT just released a very interesting update. It's called ChatGPT. Okay, so, so far it added the subtitles where they need to go. It's resized me, it's put me center frame. Now, some other things I could do is, this option is really interesting. Create B-roll images that go along with what I'm talking about. Okay, you could also ask the agent to do that. Okay, now you see all these little red sections. These are all the different images it created for me and laid over what I'm talking about automatically. Now I added background music, I asked it to make it more vibrant and bright. It did a little too much vibrance, so I said less. I just typed in one word and it actually decreased the vibrance here. And it's actually pretty good here. Now some of these images probably need work. I noticed some typos in them, so I could just select each one and adjust it here manually or regenerate it or replace it with something I have myself. But for the most part, it's a huge time saver. <laughs> I basically just talked to the AI agent. I didn't do any actual editing. I think this is gonna be a fantastic tool if you do any type of content creation. Now, the next one on my list is also a video agent, but very different. It's from HeyGen. Bring any idea to life with a video agent. You could create professional videos with a simple prompt. Let's try this out. Now, if you don't know where to start, HeyGen also has this Notion site and they have a custom GPT where you could ask it for a prompt. So if you wanted to make an explainer video, it tells you what the prompt should be for that explainer video, educational video, onboarding. All these different formats could be done with this. So I'll link this in the description as well. They just emailed all their users this. This was not a special link just for me. Now this gave me the full plan again and he asked me if that all sounds good. I'm gonna say yes. 
Okay, this did take a little while, and this is my very first time using HeyGen Video Agent. It just came out. So I'm gonna go ahead and press play, and then we'll judge how it turned out. Welcome to Prompting 101. Let's unlock the power of effective AI communication. First, be specific and clear. Vague prompts get vague results. Be precise. Instead of write about dogs, try, write a 100 word paragraph about golden retrievers. Okay, pretty good. Let's look at our prompt though to see if it followed it. So the audience was individuals looking to improve their AI interaction. I think that hit the mark. It was educational with background music, it hit the mark there. It was in vertical format, hit the mark there. The script format it followed, a professional looking female presenter, it followed the mark there. Now, I did not specifically say to make an animated video. That looks like an option you chose by default or it picked that up from somewhere else. And these are fully editable. So if I wanna edit that, I do have things like the voice I could change out. I could also change out things like the background music and it looks like the avatar could be changed. So let's go ahead and change that in one click. Oh, that's pretty good. Let me go ahead and generate this one to see what a realistic looking avatar would look like. Next, provide context. The more info, the better the AI understands your intent. For marketing copy, specify your target audience, product features, and desired tone. Also, define the output format, lists, emails, or tables. Be clear about it. This ensures the AI delivers results structured to your needs. And the last one is inside of ChatGPT and I'll keep it brief because I did make a different video about it, which I will link at the end of this video. But they introduced something called ChatGPT Pulse, which is an AI agent that works in the background each day, looking at everything you did on ChatGPT, even your Gmail and calendar, if you decide to give it access to that. And then the next day it gives you what's called a daily pulse. It tells you, everything that you did before and where you could pick up from there. So it does research in the background and starts the conversation. It is pretty mind blowing. The only problem is only available in the ChatGPT Pro plan, at least as I'm making this video. The plan is to bring it to the plus plan and eventually to the free plan. But ChatGPT can now start the conversation instead of you starting the conversation. And this agent gives you really useful things every single day. Now, you'll see this video here. I recommend you check that out if you wanna see how Pulse works. And it only works on the mobile app, again, in the pro version of ChatGPT, which is $200 a month, but check it out. It's a really interesting update.